hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to revive your curly hair blend wig from this to this beauty it's actually a client that sent 90 pieces of packet here she want me to ventilate the fronta wig it and style it for her so i'm going to walk you through how i ventilated the fronta how i wig it and how i revive the coil so we are going to be working with this packet here called classic it came with three bundles with machine made closure so we are going to be using the machine made closure to ventilate the fronta and here are the material in there for tutorial you need your ventilating pin you need your frontal net you need your metallic pen another material will be listed as the tutorial is going on this is how the machine made closure look like so we are going to start with cutting of the air from the machine made closure after you are done cutting it you are going to use your hand to remove small parts out because we only need the longer parts for the air ventilation after that you are going to remove small pieces out of the air Fold it into two, make sure one end is longer than the other, then you are going to pinch and twist. Use your hand to bring small pieces out so that you can see the number of air you want to be working with. Place your frontal nest on the mannequin head or canvas head. Use your tip pin to secure it so that it will not be lifting up when you start your air ventilation or you want to take any measurements on the net. We have been using one O one line in the past, but in today's video we are going to be using two O's, one line at the back section and one O one line at the front section. We are not going to be following the vertical line, which is the straight line. I'm going to be following the slanted line. Pass your pin through the net, bring out three strands of hair, wrap your pin through the hair, and pass it through the loop. So when you ventilate one hole, you leave two holes in between instead of one hole that we have been using in the past. So when you're done with one straight line, you move to the next. The only difference between two holes, one line, and one hole, one line that we have been using before is that we are going to be leaving two holes instead of one hole. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to explain, but if you don't understand, just try and look closer on how I'm spacing the hair. So I'm almost done with the old ventilation here. You can see that you hardly know it's two holes, one line, and you lose at the back. So once you got the spacing correctly, don't have any problem. The hair will still come out nice. So I have to fast forward the rest of the ventilation tutorial because I don't want this video to be unnecessarily long. I have a lot of video explaining in details on how to ventilate your frontal closures on my page. If you have interest in those videos, you can check my page for it or check the description box down below to click on the link. And this is how it looks like when I'm done with your ventilation. You can see how beautiful and natural it looks like and it is very very full despite using two holes one line. So the next thing to do now is to place your frontal on the mannequin hair or canvas head. I've already worn the dome mesh cap on the canvas head so I place the frontal on the dome mesh cap and use the pin to secure it so that it will not be lifting up when I start the sewing. When you are placing your frontal on the canvas head, you are going to make sure you are leaving like one or one and a half inches closer to the net before you pin it down, just like I'm doing in this video. And this is how it looks like when I'm done with the placement. So you can see that the front part is looking baggy and the back section is well laid. I'm going to be using a sewing machine to sew this week, but before then I have to use my hand to sew the frontal part because I just got the machine. I'm not used to it yet, so I have to use my hand to sew the frontal parts first. And when sewing the frontal part, you have to make sure that you are not in just one so that it can be flat as possible. So I'm almost done with the sewing here. You can see that I'm not giving too much space then. I'm not in it just once so that it can be flat as possible like I said earlier. And this is how it looks like when I'm done with the sewing. You can see how neat it is. So the next thing to do is to place your tape at the back section and use tip pin or office pin to secure it. Then you are going to be using your metallic pen to be marking like one one inch from the back section and trace it out. When you are tracing it out, it will be forming like six shape. When you are closer to the front, maybe like 3 inches or 4 inches to the front section, you are going to change it from that C shape to a straight line. And also you are going to change it from 1 inches to half inch. And this is how it looks like when I'm done with the tracing. So the next thing to do is to remove it from the canvas head and start sewing. And before you start sewing, it is necessary you cut the SSV cap before you start sewing so that you will not mistakenly sew on the SSV cap if you are a beginner like me. If the hair bundle is very full and you have to use double weft for your hair, first thing you have to do is to join the two wefts together and place it under the machine for sewing. I'm not going to go into details of the sewing hair, but if you want me to make a tutorial on how to do all this, let me know at the comment section. 
so that I can make a separate video explaining details on how to make your wig using sewing machine. But regardless, I'm still going to explain the little part I show in this tutorial. When you're done sewing the double rest of the hair, so you're going to place it at that first line and the back section and place it under the sewing machine and start sewing it. And this is how it looks like when I'm done with this first sewing. So I have to go back and sew it again since the hair is double webbed so that it can be well secured. And this is how it looks like when I'm done with that. You can see how firm it looks like and it's very, very neat. So you are going to repeat the same process to all the lines on the net until you reach the last line closer to the frontal part. No matter how surplus the hair bundle is, when you're closer to the frontal part, you're going to change from double weft here to single weft here so that your frontal part will not look bulky and look flat as possible. And this is how it looks like when I'm done with this sewing. You can see that the last single weft here is very closer to the frontal part and it's very, very flat. So the next thing to do now is to start sewing your elastic band on the net. And this is how it looks like when I'm done with the sewing. So I have to wait back on the canvas head for styling. After I'm done with the pattern, so I apply elastic on the frontal part only. Please don't apply elastic on the body of the hair, on the frontal part only. After I'm done applying elastic, I use my house comb to press it down very well. And this is how it looks like when I'm done with the styling. You can actually rock it like this if you want. But if you want that bouncy coily look. All you need for the styling is your revon brush. And you are going to pat it according to how big or small you want your coils to be. And make sure you comb it out very well before you start using your brush to coil it just the way I'm doing in this video. So I'm going to leave you to watch how I did that. And this is how it looks like when I'm done with the styling. You can see how beautiful it is. And this is how the back section looks like. So we have come to the end of this tutorial. If you like this week or you need my service, you can contact me on this phone number you are seeing on your screen. Please like this video to support this channel. Drop a comment if you have any questions. Share with your friends. And turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever I drop another beautiful video. See you in my next video. Bye.